All right, this is uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 26. It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. I got a piece of this is uh, Proverbs 16 and uh, 1. The preparations of the heart of man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. You know? Uh, um, uh, it's another piece of uh, uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. You know, the king's heart is in the, I get it. The king's heart is in the hands of the world. It's another one too. I think it says, uh, Man deviseth his steps, but the whole disposing yeah. is of the Most High. I, I, I don't know where it's yeah, said. Roughly, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, I think it's a proverb. A proverb. Uh, I think it's proverb. Too. Roughly paraphrasing. Hey, because because certain things we pray for, like wisdom, understanding, we pray for salvation and different things, man. You know, but it's certain things that, that that we lack that we might not know we lack, man. And that's where the Spirit 69. makes intercessions, man. Yes. You know, the Spirit makes intercessions and it, and it groans for us, man. You know, uh, uh, Proverbs 16 and 9. A man's heart, it's like a man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Kind of, it's like the, uh, the Jeremiah 10 and 23. I got it. You got it? Yep, this is Jeremiah Ooh. chapter 10, verse 23. Oh Lord, I know that the ways of man is not in himself. No, it's not in himself, little man to walk. Go ahead. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. No, it's like the, the part is playing, uh, I believe it's a uh, uh, Ciroc. It's a Ciroc where the uh, fashion is whichever way you will. Exactly. Ciroc, uh, Ciroc 32. 33, I believe. 32, 33. Did you get that from? Yeah, kind of. Uh, Bob. This is uh, the book of Ciroc chapter. Let me see. Hey, and all this is going into what, man? You know, because it says it's not man to uh, to understand his own way, man. So, so our thoughts got to be what? According to the word. Why are you looking for that? Can you hit that real fast? The yeah, Proverbs three and three and five. The trust in Yahweh with all thine heart. So you gotta trust in this word, man. This is how we trust in Yahweh by Shah Yahweh Shah. By trusting in the record that he left for us, man. Which the record is what? These pages, these scriptures, his son. Go ahead. And lean not into thine own understanding. And lean not to thy own understanding, man. So yo, yo, yo devise in your mind gotta be according to this word. You know? Get this right quick. This is uh, Psalm chapter 37, verse 23. It says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. He delighteth in his way. Though he though he fail, he shall not he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Alright, just you know, just going to hey, you know, uh, the, the ways of righteous man, the Lord directs those ways, man. Although we fall, you know, which what? Us going off. We're not gonna be utterly cast down. We're not gonna utterly just say, no, nah, I'm cool, I'm gonna just stay down here. You know? No, we're gonna get back up, dust ourselves up, and keep moving forward, man. That's right. You know? I mean, that's, that's that, that's that 70, uh, 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 a month, a man follows seven times. You know, we get it back up, dust ourselves up, and keep going straight. It's like it, you know? I, gonna say, uh, I believe there's a song that says, uh, order my steps in thy word. Basically, you're saying like he he knows that uh, the ways of man is being controlled. So if you're gonna control me, control me in righteousness. This is uh, uh Sirach chapter 33. I'm gonna start at uh, seven. It says, Why do it one day excel another when that's all the light of every day in the year is of the sun? By the knowledge of the Lord they were distinguished, and He altered seasons and feasts. Some of them have He made high days and hallowed them, and some of them have He made ordinary days. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. In much knowledge the Lord have divided them and made their ways diverse. Some of them have he blessed and exalted, and some of them have he sanctified and set near himself. That's yeah, so what it's letting you know the Israelites right there. They blessed, exalted, sanctified for the Lord for, for himself. Yep, it says, but some of them have he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand. To for example, the Canaanites, man. They was cursed, man. Because of what Ham did, right? And it said turned out of their place. They land became our land, which was originally ours in the first place. It says, uh, as the clay is uh, it says, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, 
So man is in the hand of him that made him. So you're not in control of what you do. Man. The Lord is in control of what you do. It says, uh, according to your desires, man. Hey, because a nigga try to use that and see, well, well, shit. Well, the Lord making me sin then. The Lord making me yeah. a wicked nigga then. No, mm -hmm. dude. The Lord don't cause you to go off, nigga. You go off according to your own lust, man, Look according to your own mind. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why it says that a man's ways devises it, but the Lord ordered the steps, man. Yeah. Sure Pretty much the Lord, the, the Lord gives us what, uh, what, what we desire, man. What we ultimately desire, man. That's what the Lord is going to give us, man. Sure. So if you desire to serve the Lord, the Lord is going to allow you to serve him, man. Yeah. If you desire to be a fuck-ass nigga, man, guess what? The Lord going to give you over to that madness, man. Because ultimately it's what you desire. Kind of, I was just gonna add this, just like Romans, the first chapter says, therefore the leg, the Lord gave them up to do that which was unseemly. Like you wanted to be a faggot, you wanted to be a homosexual, okay, there yeah. you go. It says, uh, just I'm, to clear that up for a nigga to say, see, well, well, the Lord got me being wicked. No, nigga, read Sirach the 15th chapter. All right, got it right here. That's Sirach, I'm gonna start at um, Sirach 15 and 11. It says, say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away. For the honor not to do the things that he hated. Boom. Now all this not to do the things that he hated. A spirit. See? Go ahead. And say, say not thou he has called me to air, for he has no need of a sinful man. He don't need you wicked fuckers, man. Why you think all them niggas died in the wilderness, man? The Lord don't need your ass. Jump down to the last verse, brother. It says, he has committed no man to do wickedly. Neither has, he, neither has he given any man like the Smith. He didn't tell your ass to do that shit. Right. License mean what? Now, permission? Yeah, permission to do something. He didn't tell your ass to do that. That's why you got the law. Exactly. Yeah. So you won't do it. Exactly, he, man. He, 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 he ain't say, hey, uh, don't keep the law. There you go. Go ahead and see. <laughs> the Lord gives you your desires, man. In James, the first chapter, yeah. it says what? A man goes off according to uh, his lust, man. It says lust entered, then it, in, it, it, it yeah, entices yeah. him. Yeah. And then sin is uh, uh, fulfilled, man, yeah. roughly paraphrasing, man. I'm Based off your desire of what you wanted, that was completed, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm roughly paraphrasing. Hey, because in Deuteronomy, Moses said what? I set before thee life and death. I set before thee a blessing and a cursing. Right? He said, choose ye this day life, man. In Sirach, the Lord said, I have set before thee fire and water. Choose ye this day, man. So when you read 2nd Edwards, the, uh, I believe it's the 7th chapter, further down. Can we get that real fast? 2nd Edwards 7? That, that's a spirit. It's 56. Because that was the title of the, of, the, of the live show last night. So Death to right around right, right, right. life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These people, they, 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 they didn't say a fuck it. I don't know. I'm going to say I'm going to say it. Seven and I'm six. Fuck. I'm gonna, you can't correct me. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. That's why I say in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, so watch this, this chapter. Who, who, who shall control me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's the way these niggas feel, man. Like, hey, what the, you, you can't control me. Then when judgment come on their ass, then they ain't seeking the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. He done been warned. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get it. Go ahead. Right. Second Ezra is uh, seven to fifty-six. Uh, second Ezra seven to fifty-six. For a while we lived and committed iniquity, we considered not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. You go on. Then answered he me and said. This is the condition of the battle. This is the condition of the battle. And then when you start up, Ezra was saying, look, okay, the, the promise is laid up for people who haven't sinned, but we all have sinned and done wickedly. Yep. How are we gonna secure, uh, 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 be secure and safely for those who have, have, have lived uh, a weary life, those who lived the, the right way, but whereas we all did the sins that's worthy of death. So Ezra was asking, how can we have this, but we committed the sins worthy of death, man? Right? So the angel said, mm -hmm. this is the condition of the battle. So this is what the Lord is telling Ezra. This is the condition of the battle. Go ahead. Con, he said, which, which man that is born upon the right, Slakia, 
which it, which man that is born upon the earth shall fight? Right, man is born of the earth, man. Right, all of us was born upon this earth, man. So we all have entered into what that fight, man. That's why the Lord said, endure hardness as a good soldier. This is a battle. It says our warfare is not uh, uh, carnal but spiritual, man. Huh. Go ahead. He says that if he become that if he be overcome, if he let this flesh overcome him. If he live after his lust, if he live after his desires, go ahead. He shall suffer as thou had have said. He gonna die to death, man. Go ahead. But if he get the victory. If he get the victory, man. If he rules his flesh, if he live according to the law, go according to the most high, go ahead. He shall receive that thing that I say. And what did the Lord say? Salvation, man, everlasting life. Go ahead. For this is the life. Where of Moses spake. See, yep. this is the life where of Moses yep. spake. See, go ahead. Life death, man. And to the people while he lived, uh -huh. saying, choose thee life that thou mayest live. That's it, man. So this is the battle, man. So either you gonna give in to your flesh, what these people do in the Lord, give them over to their ruin, or what? Right. You gonna rule your flesh, man, and you gonna receive that everlasting life, man. That's right. See, it, it, it's ultimately the Lord gives you your desires, man. That's right. He gives you what you ultimately want, man. That's why Paul said, uh, uh, I bring my soul to the That's right, man. You know, all my members, <laughs> you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta basically uh, uh, mortify your, your members. members. Subjugate yourself, man. Yeah, that's to right. righteousness, man. Yep. Other words, what's the opposite of righteousness? Wickedness. Hey, because it says, <laughs> it says, know ye not to whom ye yield your members to, ye are the yeah, servants yeah, of, yeah. man. Whether it be unto, unto righteousness to salvation or unto uh, uh, right. wickedness to destruction. I, I roughly paraphrase that. Yep. But your members is what? Yeah, that's a good your body, though. man. Can somebody get that. What you yield your body to do, man. That's a beautiful scripture. If you yield your body to do righteousness, you're serving unto righteousness, man. That's if you right. yield your body to do wickedness, guess what? You're serving unto wickedness, man. But this is the scripture I was told, man. This, these, these people, man. Well, Sirach 5 and uh, 3. It says, follow not thy own mind and thou, and thou strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Which is what? Sin. All right, because because the scriptures say the, the the mind is what desperately wicked. It's, it's, you know, yeah. oh, see, the, he's about to get it. The mind is desperately wicked. It says, "Say not, who shall control me, for 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 my works? <laughs> for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride." And that's pride, man. If you if you have that kind of mindset, right? But mindset that, that you can't be judged, all right, for your wickedness, man, for the things that you do in this flesh, man. And that's what's going on, man. These people, these people, they don't fucking consider that the shit that they doing, that they gonna be judged for it, man. They, they, Cause why the white man he have given these people free reign to do wickedness on the earth? Well, that's what we just started. Yeah. With. The second act of seven right. fifty six. <laughs> it says, while we lived, they committed iniquity. Yep. We thought not that we would suffer for it after death, man. Kind. So once you die. Your ass come back, and guess what? You gonna have to deal with those sins from your past life, man. Come, preach this. Says, uh, say not, I have sinned, and what harm? It says, say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering; He will no wise let thee go. See, the Lord's gonna get you regardless, man. It says, concerning for preparations. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And that's what people are doing. It says, and say not, his mercy is great, but he, for he will be pacified by the multitude of my sins. Right, that's the, they, yep. they go, yo, God know my heart. <laughs> yeah, you ain't supposed to be eating swine. God know my heart. No, man. Yep. It just said it right there, man. You read that again, Bible yep. It says, and say not he, his mercy is great. Right, say not his mercy is great, man. It says concerning propitiation. Yep. Propitiation means an appeasing oh, of wrath, crap. man. Yep. It says be not without fear to add sin unto sin. So you should be very afraid to continue to sin, man. That's, That's right. right. Shaving your beard is a sin, man. Eating swine is a sin. <clears throat> you sleeping with another man's woman, um, another man, yeah, another yeah. man's woman is a sin, man. That's right. Yeah. When you lie in the corners of your head, these is all sins, man. That's right. You see? <laughs> But they tell you in the churches that what? The law is done away with. Well, if the law is done away with, that means sin is done away with, man. Because sin is the transgression of the law. So somebody lying, man. Yep. You see? Thank so it says, you. hey, 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 it says, uh, can you read that part again? It says, say not, no, Salaki, uh, 
That his mercy yeah, is great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say not his mercy is great. Uh -huh. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. So, so you going to just continue to sin. Yeah. God know my heart. You continue to do the mm -hmm. madness that he told you not to do, man. No, it says say not the Lord. Hey, because the Lord, go ahead. It says, for mercy and wrath come from him. Mercy and wrath. See, people forget that the Lord flooded this earth, man, and left eight people alive, man. That's right. Go ahead. And his indignation rests upon sinners. His indignation, his righteous anger is upon sinners, man. That's right. The word repent means, hey, to make sorry. So when you repent, meaning you turning away from the things that you were doing, man. Yep. So that means you ain't gonna do those things no more, man. So that's the that's the true meaning of repentance, man. Not go to Sunday and be, Lord, Lord, forgive me for my sins, and then all through the week you're doing the same thing all over again, man. Hey, the Lord ain't hearing that, man. Because yep. it says what, man? It says after willful sin, there is no repent more, no more repentance, man. That's right. So if you willfully go these, do these things that the Lord told you not to do, then there is no more sacrifice for you, man. This is what the Bible says, man. Not what church says. Okay, church I... teaches you you can continue to do what you want and God gonna love you anyway. That ain't what the Bible yeah, says, man. They always uh, try to use Romans. We all have short, all short of the glory, yeah. which we all do. But that don't mean you 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 keep using that for a damn excuse. Exactly. To keep falling short. Yep. You're supposed to try to get better. You know better, you do better. That's what. Yeah, trying. The scripture of says course. to him that knoweth to do good and he doeth to not. It is what. Sin. It is sin, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, that Hebrews, go to Hebrews 10 and 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. See? So after you willfully sin, after the things you know that you're not supposed to be doing, man, if you continue to do those things, guess what? The Lord didn't die for you, man. Because he's ultimately our sacrifice, right? He died for our sins. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's get let's get first John. Let's get that to prove that. Yeah, you you basically saying to hell with the Lord's sacrifice. That's man. right. If you will will for sin, man, the Lord died for your sins, right? The whole this is but the earth but the earth the earth teaches you that He died for your yeah. sins, so you continue to the sin. Yeah. <laughs> he died for you, <laughs> so you can, so you can <laughs> still do what He died for you for. <laughs> How did that sound, man? Yeah. Like, no, if I'm saying the whole Bible is still valid, man, yeah. it ain't just the New Testament, it's the Old Testament. The, 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 the Old Testament, it tell you what not to do and what to do, man. That's right, that's right. So you're supposed to uh, follow the Old Testament, man. That's, <laughs> hey. the, that's the directions. Hey, how do you know that? When the Messiah was on the scene, right, what was he reading out of and what was he teaching out of? The Old Testament. Was he reading the letters of Paul? <laughs> Come on, man. What was Paul teaching out of? Was he reading his own letters? See? No. See what was it. Paul quoting? He was quoting the Old Testament, man. So he's letting you know that during the time of the New Testament, the Old Testament was still in effect, man. Even today, yep. it's still in effect. In other words, there wouldn't be no such thing as sin. Well, why did, uh, uh, why did uh, when uh, when uh, Lord, the Lord had the curtain to Peter and he seen all them bottom up, why did Peter say, no, Lord, because I have not eaten such such, such, uh, such abominable things? You're right. Yeah. Because what? Because it was in the Old Testament. Like, you know what I mean? Come on now. It was in the law. It was in the law. First John. First John 3 and 4. This is First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever does sin, do what? Transgressed also the law. The word transgress means to break. So if you commit sin, you're breaking the law. What law? Where is the law located? <laughs> Go ahead. It says, for sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of the law, man. Where is it located? It's in the Old Testament. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, yep. Deuteronomy. They call it what? The book of the, the law. The book of the law. The book of Moses, man. If you go to church, they tell you the law is done away with. No, you're going to be done away with. That's right. By the law. By the law. <laughs> <laughs> hey, because the, this, this, is, this is what the Bible says, man. The Lord is coming back to bring judgment upon people, man. He's bringing a reward. He's bringing a reward for people uh, uh, that live righteously according to his word. And he's bringing a reward for people that live wickedly, that disobeyed his word, man. Great judgment is coming to this place, man. America will be destroyed by ICBM nuclear fire, man. That's right. It's going to be race wars, FEMA camps. It's going to be famines out here, man. All this is coming to this place, man. And in order to escape it, man, you got to live right according to the word. You know? One more. You got it, bro. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. It says, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Ooh. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, 
is a liar <gasps> and the truth is not in him. There it is. There it is. Oh, get somebody to get Isaiah 820. That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> he is a liar. This is he's liar. a liar and the truth ain't in him, man. That's right, man. And what's oh, the truth? Man. Can a brother get John 17, 17 as well? Uh, Isaiah 820. To the law, to the testimony, they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. No light in the world.